Shaker cards are super fun to make, but they can be a little bit putsy. So today I'm gonna to show you some fun shaker card ideas that are so super simple to make. There's no putsiness involved. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, you will learn how to use the new shaker domes to create two fun, super simple shaker cards. It's the easiest shaker card you will ever make. Now the cards featured in this video showcase the adorable Snowman Season stamp set from the 2019 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. But keep in mind that you can use any stamp set or any fun pattern papers that you have on hand to create this card. Just get creative with it. By the end of this video, you will have actually three different card ideas, two shaker card ideas, and then I'm going to show you how to make another adorable card, not a shaker card, but another adorable card using some of the leftover pieces from creating the two shaker cards. For the latest card making ideas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell so you will be notified each time I upload a new video. Now, inquiring minds want to know, have you ever created a shaker card? Leave me a comment below. Okay, so first let's talk about the supplies you will need to create these cards. So I will be using shaded spruce for the base of my cards and then I'll be using white cardstock for the accent pieces. I will also be using some of the fun new pattern papers from the Let It Snow Designer Series Paper Pack. But keep in mind you can use any pattern papers that you prefer to create this card. Of course we will also need a stamp set, so I will be using the new Snowman Season stamp set. And to do the stamping today, um, I will be using some black memento ink to stamp the little snowmen and some shaded spruce. I will also be doing a bit of coloring on the snowman image that I will be using. So I'm going to use my favorite coloring tools, which are the Stampin' Blends. So I'm using the dark shade of Real Red, Shaded Spruce, and Pool Party. And just to add a little bit of texture to the card, I'm going to be using the new Winter Knit 3D embossing folder. So I will be using this die from the Snow Globe Scenes die set. So that is how we are going to create the shaker dome or the shaker part of this card. And speaking of shaker domes, we are also going to be using some of these new shaker domes. So. I'll show you how to use these, but um, this is how we're going to create our shaker card. It's already got adhesive on it. And then I'm also going to be using some of these new snowflake sequins. So this is what I will be using inside our little shaker dome to create our shaker card. All right, I think that's it. Let's get started. All right, so let's start by creating our first snow globe shaker card. So we're going to start with a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of shaded spruce cardstock. Score the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches to create the base of the card. Cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of the Let It Snow pattern paper and adhere it to the card front. Next, cut a three and a quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of shaded spruce cardstock. Now grab the Snow Globe Scenes die set and your embossing machine. Cut out the top part of that three and a quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of cardstock using the die. So be sure to leave about a half to three quarter inch space between the die and the top of the cardstock when you cut it out. So you will be left with a kind of half circle opening in your cardstock. Now, this little piece here, be sure to set this circular shape aside. We're not going to throw it away. I'm going to show you how to create a really fun and simple card at the end of this video um, using this piece. Now emboss the shaded spruce cardstock piece with your favorite embossing folder. Go ahead and set this aside for now so that we can create the image that will be featured inside the snow globe. Cut a two and three quarter by two and three quarter inch piece of white cardstock. Stamp one of the snowman images in the center of this piece of cardstock using black ink. Color in the image using your favorite coloring tools. So for this card, I am using Real Red and Shaded Spruce Stampin' Blends to color in the hat and the scarf. And then I'm using Pumpkin Pie for the carrot nose. 
Now once you have your image colored in the way you want it, open up the container of the snowflake sequins and add a few sequins to the center of the stamped image. Now I find it easier just to add a few pinches of the sequins instead of sprinkling them on your project. Once you have added two or three pinches of the sequins, we are ready to adhere that snow globe shaker dome. So to do that, simply peel off the adhesive backing from the snow globe shaker dome and adhere it directly over the top of the sequins so that your stamped image is visible through the dome. Simply press it in place and you can go ahead and pick it up and shake it. Okay, now bring back the card base and the three quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of shaded spruce cardstock. You know, the cardstock that you cut the opening into. Add some adhesive to the shaded spruce cardstock and peel off that backing on the front of the snow globe dome. Then go ahead and adhere that shaded spruce cardstock over the top of the dome. Now go ahead and adhere the entire piece of shaded spruce cardstock with the dome to the center of your card front. Stamp a greeting on a 5 8 by 3 and a quarter inch piece of white cardstock and adhere it to the front of your card with a few dimensionals. Then for the finishing touch, you can go ahead and decorate the inside of the card with some of those same stamped images. That's it. Now you can go ahead and shake away. Yes, it's time to play with our cool little shaker card. So have fun with it. Now this Snowman Season stamp set is one of my absolute favorites from the catalog. So for more fun cards created with the Snowman Season stamp set, check out my latest video featuring a snowman slider card. Simply click on the link featured at the top of your screen. So now that you see how easy it is to create a shaker card with these little snow globe domes, let's step it up a little bit and create a little window style shaker card. So we're going to start with a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of shaded spruce cardstock. Score the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches to create the base of your card. Cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock. Open up your card base and lay the white cardstock on top of your card front so that you have a quarter inch green matting around the white cardstock piece. This is an important step because we are going to cut out both pieces of cardstock at the same time with the snow globe scenes die. The white cardstock will actually be on the inside of the card, but we are using it on the card front as a guide for placement of the dome. So grab the snow globe scenes die and your embossing machine and cut out the center of the white cardstock and the center of the card front using that die. Cut them both out at the same time. Save the little circular shapes and at the end of this video I will show you how to use them to create another fun little snowman card. Okay, so now that you have cut out the center of the white cardstock and your card front, we're going to emboss the card front using the Winter Knit 3D embossing folder. Once you have embossed it, set this piece aside for now so that we can create the image that will be featured in the snow globe. So you will create the image the same way you did for the first card. You're going to cut a two and three quarter by two and three quarter inch piece of white cardstock. You're gonna stamp one of the snowman images in the center of this piece of cardstock using black ink. Color in the image using your favorite coloring tools. So for this card, I'm using the Real Red and Shaded Spruce Stampin' Blends to color in that hat and scarf and the pumpkin pie for the carrot nose. So once you have your image colored, then open up the container of snowflake sequins, add a few sequins to the center of the stamped image, and again, you know, you can use two or three pinches of the sequins. And then once you've added the amount of sequins that you want to add, we're ready to adhere the snow globe shaker dome. Peel off the adhesive backing from the snow globe shaker dome and adhere it over the top of the sequins so that your stamped image is visible through the dome. Now, of course, you can pick it up again and shake it because we have to shake it. We have to play with these cards, right? <laughs> okay. Um, so once you're done playing with the card, uh, you can add some adhesive to the back of the white cardstock piece that has that shaker dome on it. So it's the piece that, you know, you, you did your coloring on. So add some adhesive to the back. 
open up the shaded spruce card base and lay the shaker dome in the opening so that the image is facing towards your workspace or towards your table and the part with the adhesive is facing up towards you. Once you have the shaker dome resting in that opening on the card front, you can close the card. Then flip it over, lay it on the table in front of you, and press down on the cardstock all around the shaker dome. Then go ahead and open up the card. You will see that the shaker dome is perfectly placed in the window on the card front. Pretty cool, right? Okay, now bring back the five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock that you cut the snow globe opening into. Stamp a sentiment on it just under that opening and peel off that adhesive around the dome. Now go ahead and adhere the white cardstock to the inside of your card over the top of that shaker dome. Now notice that it lines up perfectly and you have a nice quarter inch matting around the white cardstock. Okay, you can close the card and let's finish decorating the front of it. So cut a one and a half by four and a quarter inch piece of the Let It Snow Designer Series paper and adhere it about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom of the card front. Stamp a greeting on a 5 eighths by three and a quarter inch piece of white cardstock and adhere it to the front of your card just under the snow globe. Use a few dimensionals to adhere it. And then for the finishing touch, simply embellish the card with a few rhinestones. Okay, so now you can spend a little bit of time admiring your work and playing with this card too. It's such a fun and super cute little card. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so this last card idea I want to share with you features a fun way to use those dome-shaped pieces that were left over from cutting out that spot for the shaker dome. So since I made two snow globe shaker cards, I have two snow globe circular shapes left. I decided to emboss my pieces with the Winter Knit 3D embossing folder. So once I embossed them, I cut out a five by three and three quarter inch piece of white cardstock. Then I adhered those embossed pieces to the side and the bottom of the white cardstock. Once that was completed, I stamped a greeting in the upper right hand side of the card. And then the last thing I did was simply create a focal point for the card by stamping one of the snowman images on a two and a half inch circle shape. And then I colored it in in the same way that I colored in the other images that I shared with you today. And then I simply added a five and a quarter by four inch piece of shaded spruce cardstock as a little mat and adhered it to a white card base. And that's it. It's just a fun and simple little card and it's a great way to use those extra pieces. You know, us card makers don't throw anything away, right? <laughs> Now you have two shaker card ideas and a bonus idea for using up those little leftover cardstock pieces from creating those two shaker cards. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have fun getting creative, take care, and I'll see you soon.